Yeah, yeah don't put it like this. Don't put all, all your pressure in it or anything. Well, Matt, this is a nice desk, here, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to building it with you. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. As soon as we get started here, I'm, I'm excited to, for the audience to know that we're on. Now, this desk here, Matt, this is that, system why system. is this desk... <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, Amazon Live. Uh, we are here... Uh, well, we're everywhere right now, but we want you guys to see uh, us put together a desk. Yeah, now, this isn't just an ordinary desk. It's the desk for children. No, what, what's happening is it's become very popular because of the coronavirus and everybody is uh, teaching their kids at home and not everybody yeah. but most people are doing virtual classrooms what are you doing just showing them this is the box this is what it is and so like me uh our kids are being taught at home uh via the computer this is a very popular one on amazon right now this is harper a uh so we're gonna see how we're gonna see exactly why it's so popular we haven't opened this this is brand new to us we have no idea what we're opening up yeah, what we're what getting into of, here what anyway. kind of mess we're getting into this. this could be thousands of pieces. Who knows? Or two. You can actually hire somebody to install and do it for you. There you go, Josh. Or you do it yourself. Or you can do it yourself. Now, now here's the instructions. It's a one pager for instructions. Now, Matt, you, your kids, uh, that's not hard. They're homeschoolers already, right? Yes, I have. Well, one was already homeschooled, and my son just recently became homeschooled because of the coronavirus right. situation. Right. Can't, he started a little, his homeschooling a little early. He's in grade uh, eight. Here's an interesting little side story. The, uh, so uh, my, my daughter started uh, uh, kindergarten this year and they're doing the, uh, they were going to have her sit in, a, in the thing for the full eight hours. But they quickly realized that. Eight hours sitting what? Yeah, like, uh, like the class. It's from, uh, from, uh, from eight or not, uh, from eight to like uh, three o'clock. Right. Whatever it is. They quickly realized that that wasn't going to work. And so they went from, from they, they said, you're done at 12, from 8 to 12. Right. Which makes more sense. Because, I mean, that's a, the, the kids are just not going to sit there. You can move that cardboard box if you want, that one out of the way. And we're done. We've already built it. It's very, this is a very simple system to put together, guys. Yeah, so I guess it's a little challenging because you don't know what your, uh, you know, what the kids are going to, how, how, how well they're going to adapt, you know? All right, so now we're putting together two desks for you today. This one here is going to be a very simple one. Yeah, Let's, uh, we can slide this out of the way, Matt, and put this right on the floor. I think so, eh? Let me just open this up here. It comes in two pieces, and this says, "Unopen up the hinges." I'll show you guys. There's no wonder this is so popular. Yeah, it's a very simple thing. You, you've got it within minutes. You're, uh, you, you don't. You legitimately do not need tools. There's no. There's no tools needed. I think there is. No. Nope. That's what makes this so popular. You don't you, even need a tool. You don't need a tool. You don't need to be handy. You just need to know how to open up a box. Right. That I can do. Unlock your wheel there. We're going to move this out of the way for you guys. That's it. It was open all along. And all right, just like that. Yeah, that's A. We're going to show you how easy this is. Look at this. And there's your kid's your, desk. Your kid's desk is ready. Nice. And it's a, and it's a fashionable desk. I mean, look at the, look, you take your hand there, man. We show them the, we show them the, 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 uh, the pattern. You see the pattern here? Uh, it's, it's that wood and it, it even is, uh, Textured. Textured. So it really feels like you got yourself a nice little desk here. Yeah, that's a little small for me. Well, here, roll, yeah, yeah. roll up your chair. See how that would work for you. And you lower this. Josh is a pretty large man. But you could easily sit there at your desk. Yeah. And uh, just for size comparisons, do we have a laptop that we can throw in here? To no. That would have been nice to show. But your laptop's generally this big, right? I mean, you got to, uh, here you are, and this is your, in your desk. Yeah, but extremely simple, durable. Yeah, and here's the nice thing: you can actually have it out. Let's say you don't have a lot of room, um, like you're just in a yeah. one-bedroom apartment. It's a great, it's a great you're point. You're a kid or whatever, and you want to have a spot for them to work. But then at the end of the day, school day is over. Let's close up shop for the day. Put simple. It behind the, and you just snap. put it behind the uh, put it behind the couch. Right behind the couch. Just fold that up. Yeah, brilliant. 
Flies behind the couch. You don't have to worry about it. Next day, pull it out. Set them up for their day. Really si simple system. Uh, it's in the carousel now. Matt, what was the this? price of this? Is one hundred and five dollars. One hundred five bucks. You got a portable desk that moves around and that, that that hides away. Even in their rooms, like like a lot of times they want the the kids' rooms aren't very big, so you want yeah. to have just enough space for them to the, the play in and craft that, right? or whatever it is that they're. So gonna now do you day. can bring this out during the day, have it set up, and then just fold it up, put it against the wall, or behind their bed or whatever for the for the evening. What a great little uh, setup from. Uh, what is it, which one is it called? This is Harper A. Harper A. Harper A. And it's in the carousel there. Yeah. I can't believe how simple that was to put together. How simple it was. You didn't need any tools. No. Unpackage it or you need a knife. But you yeah. could technically use your teeth to cut the tape if you needed to. Use your teeth if you wanted to, yeah. But you don't need a tool. But this one here a little is, different. is, I think it's from the same company. Yes, it's from the same company. Uh, but it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more uh, put together, and it's not a, a, a collapsible. So we're going to build this for you as well, and we're going to show you. And now you have options, right? I mean, uh, you probably have already decided on a, on a desk, or or maybe you're in the market uh, because you're deciding that it's safer to keep your kids at home. Whatever you decide is entirely up to you. All right, this is a nice Hold one. Hold on to this here, man. I'm going to pull this right out of here. Oh, hang on now. A lot more, a lot more parts to this one. Now it's always nice to work on a desk like this, if you can. A space. So this one here, Josh, show them, show them the. This is the look of this one. It's the wood look. Yeah. So this is like a beach. This is like a um, a beach wood. You know. See, just like that. Right. Now there are much more. There are more steps to this one, Matt. This is going to take you and, thirty minutes. It says. And bags and bags of screws and whatnot. Right. It says all you need is a, a screwdriver and a, and a mallet. Now let's just see. Step one. I quit. No, this is good. This is going to be good. There's uh, there are. You gave ten, up too so soon. There are ten steps. Let's get rid of these here. These are a lot more Maybe. pieces in here than I thought on this one. All right, Matt, you need uh, you need the letter L. Well, should, let's let's put our pieces aside. The ones that we're going to use. Are we using this one right away? Nope. No, sir. That's step. Right, uh, that's step it, two. How about any of the uh, wooden ones? Yeah, we'll be using ones. that relatively soon, though. How about these ones here? Are we using these ones right away? Uh, no. These over here, just so we have a bit of room uh, to work. Yeah, I, I agree. Now let's just see. Where's L, Matt? We're done with the knife, I think, for now. G. There's L. L. There you are. Now let's take these aside. What you're going to want to do is give me those little squares that are there. These ones here? So go show them what the square is so they can see what that looks like. These these just get pounded in with a, with a mallet. You see how they uh, have little uh, dowels, plastic dowels that go inside? We get our mallet, Matt. Where is our here In, inside that? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now you you don't want to use necessarily a, a, an actual hammer. If you have a mallet, it's better. You're more likely to not bust it. And that goes the L's on that side. Two, four. This goes like so. Three. Now the question is. Which direction do these go in there? That's that's my next question. What's that? What do you mean? So it must have to go like it goes like this. Let me help you. Let's read the instructions. Uh, this, this is it. Unfinished. You have your unfinished edge here. Yeah. And then the. Nope. So all these packages of screws, this. they're all numbered. So there's a number on on each one. Can't see that from there, but it says two on there. Right. And so I've opened them all up so we're easy access, but I kept the package nearby so I know okay, those are for that, that's for that, right? So I'm, I'm looking at this picture here. Yes. And I'm, and I'm deciding that these go like this. And I might be wrong. Why? Where's, where's the finished edge? No, the finished edge is, it, you only have, this is where you got to go. I'm talking about the plastic. Oh, it says unfinished edge. Yes. I have the unfinished edge. Shows it that way. Yeah, you got it right, bud. No, it's, it's which way does that go? Is it, you're missing the point. Oh, you can see the little holes. Yeah, well, it doesn't show holes there, but is it? Yeah, maybe. That's it. But I decided right. Okay. So there we've built our little L piece. Step one is 
Finished. Complete. Man, it took a while. It took a little bit of our heads coming together on that one. All right, Matt. Now go ahead, and then we're going to need the, the big, uh, the, the front cover there. The B, it's called. B. This big one here, is it? Yep. B, yes. Which way do we want us to face? Yeah, if, uh, if, yeah upside like that. Yes. You got the holes like this here? Yep. Okay. And then these go in here like so. Using, using the number fours, the six. There should be six number fours. Six number fours, correct. Okay, and then you go ahead and you put those in there, man. Hold the phone here. Let me just line them up for you. That should be it right there. You don't want to go, you want to overdo it, you know, just, just snug. You should, uh, if you're using the, the chameleon, change the uh, setting so you put the tip on that you can clutch. All right, give me the clutch. This is the uh, Bosch Chameleon, or it's uh, also known as the Bosch Freak for the smaller version. Um, but now you can clutch it out. Yeah. It's low now. If you, you, don't, you, you slip out on this press board and it uh, messes everything up. You good? Yep. Good? Yep. Okay, and this is the this is step number two of ten. So so far, the the instructions have been real nice and easy, uh, easy to see, easy to read, easy to exp to be explained. And there you go. And now step three, take this aside. We're done with that one for now. So that's your that's what it's going to look like in the end there. So that's why you have this finished edge on that side. Got it. Nice. Okay. Now we need K, J, and E, Matt. Here's E. All right. You need uh, G, this one. Okay. And then E. E E's right here. E. Oh. J. And then K. There you go. K. Okay. All right. Let's take this and we'll move those aside. All right. This over here. So J and K go like so, and like so. Show them the step-by-step -step instructions. Just take a second and, and show them how that... Because, I mean, sometimes you get all these pieces and you think, oh, this is a really complicated. It's not. You so can get through it. So each piece is labeled. There's your K, there's your J, and there's your E. And the E goes across. And you see, they, then they have, when it's circled, it zooms in on the picture. Whoop. And then you see that this goes over top of the J and K and gets fastened. So like this, Matt. These go over top, like this. And... Uh, you're sure about that now? Yeah, that's it. And then these get put in. Because this is the E. This doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I know. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, there's supposed to be two little holes here that you put your... So it just lines up here. Yeah. I don't see any holes. There's no holes here. But it doesn't seem that it would overlap. You're sure about this now? Let me see the instructions. This is, this is it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, let's look here. Let's look together. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have those. Those are there. These are here. So it's supposed to go like this. But why are those holes there? Must have a different reason in another step. Right, yeah, no, it's supposed to go right up to here. It must be at these. Yeah, there they are there, see? Okay, so they have to be finished side up. Finished surface. It says right here, clearly on the instructions, finished surface. If you would only read these instructions properly. Yeah, so now... All right, right, so there you go. There and right what screws are you supposed to use for that? Uh, we need uh, uh, two, number two. These ones? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that where you need them? Yeah. What are you doing there? I had them in place. There, now it's in place. Okay. Got that a little better. How we doing? Yeah, there you go. Can I do one over there? I'm going to tell you something. <coughs> I've put entire systems together and then put them in wrong. You get to the end yeah. and you get a wrong piece. You got to take it all apart again. Later. Okay, so that's good. And let you put that in and read the next instructions. <coughs> oh, wait. Okay, good, 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 good. What? Next is B again. 
this is where it's going to come in handy to have two sets of hands. Right? So when you're working with a buddy or your wife or your husband or whatever it is, and then be, and then you're able to, one person can hold it. I'll do the holding, man, if you want to do the screwing. Yeah, where does this go? Like this. Okay. And then those go right into there. Using what? These? Using number ones. Biggins. Okay. Now, you're sure about this? Yeah, 100%. Now just line up your screw there. You see the... This is a one-time option here. Hang on, hang on, Josh. Don't, don't, don't be pushing it. I'll you look like you're uh, not good. Then uh, put it in straight. Okay. Come to the edge of the thing so I can work here. That's it. You want to line that up? Yeah. How's that? Can't tell. Yeah. There you go. Good. Okay, now two more. He's learning. I know. There you go. Now, I believe all of these are going to be hidden. Go ahead. The, the, these are all going to be hidden uh, with a piece at the top. You'll see shortly. Okay, so now we need MN, the two MNs and the two Ns. M? Yeah. N. Oh. D. No, it's, it's these guys here, but there should be another one. There should be another shorty. There you go. And N. Okay, there you go. Alright. Okay. Where, where do these go? These go uh, along the side. Uh, so these got this has to be flipped. You're going to give me a hand. Okay. You take this. Move it on. Flip this here like so. Yeah. And then these go on the legs. See, these are this way, they attach that way. Like this, you're saying? Yeah. So this attaches So the here. end is the long one, the end goes on the top. So the end goes up here like this. Right, on this side here. Like... It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Using like the big... Uh, using what number screw? Using number ones. That's, are those number ones? Yes, sir. Finish side out, I imagine. Yeah. Easy, meow. Okay. And then M. See how these ha these have a look at the difference here. This is this is what the kind of things you need to notice. This is unfinished and has the two um, pilot hole screws. That's the ones you want to use as opposed to a finished edge. Which is your, what you're going to see. Right. And this goes like this. Here. Okay. Nicely done. Same thing over here? The same thing here. Now these, remember, for those who are just joining, we're building desks. And Matt, why are we building desks? Because uh, a lot of people have to teach their children at home, so they're buying these small little desks so they can set them up in their bedrooms or in different places in the house, so they can teach them from there. They, a kid has to have a good workspace to yeah. work from. Uh, it has to be uh, fun for them, be engaging. So you can't just show, throw them in the corner in a dark room. Uh, we, in, my, in my room, we had a spare bedroom that we turned into a half a classroom uh, with nice bright light in the windows. Uh, we put stuff on the walls, the calendars, and stars. and th they got to want to go to school. Yeah. You know, and even still, it's still a battle. I don't want to go to school. Yeah. But my, uh, my kids, I have a daughter who's uh, 16. She has her own little space in her room with a desk and everything else. That's all set up. I got a desk I got yeah. on Amazon. Another one I got for my son on Amazon, all set up, ready to go for him. Uh, now that he just started homeschooling a few months ago. Right. And he's uh, 12. So we featured two desks uh, for two different purposes. This one here is if you have a permanent space that you have room for. This desk is ideal. This desk is really nice. Same company. But they also would have one that if you are tight on space, that all you do is you set it up for the, for the, for the use, and then you, ta you, down, you take it down and you collapse, and we'll feature that again after we finish building this. Yeah. You know, is that the M or the N? This is the... Uh, now, hold on, Matt. You might have messed this all up here. I knew it. I knew it. It was too good to be true. Because I didn't see these... Uh, 
What didn't you see? These top uh, these top holes. See, they don't yeah. have. Well, you got top holes here, though. No? Yeah, but I think that they have to be facing this way, because. Uh oh boy. You know what I mean? Like they don't have anything. They don't. They didn't explain that, but. Yeah. See, they need to be so that they can take that shelf. So they need to be. So that's up. So this needs to be reversed, and this one has to go in like this. Okay. Easy. It wants to tighten it so tight. Okay, good. Okay, this one? And then this one here. Um, does not have, so that it doesn't matter which way it goes. Alright, so we gotta fix the other one. Yeah, we gotta take that one and just reverse it. But I'll tell you something else. If you don't have to take something off and reverse it, you're not doing something right. Yeah. It's just, it's just one of those things that you've got to do. It's a rite of passage. It's a rite of passage. Yeah. Never get it right on your first try. Fortunately, it's really no big deal to... They already have pilot holes, so it's not, it's not like you... It's not like you're reinventing it. something. Right. You didn't make a terrible mistake here. Now okay. what? Okay. Now... You get your uh, H, and H and I, big long ones. These are what's going to go tap into these and solidify everything. There you go, H and I. Okay, so let's see here. H. I love when there's a gap. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. There, there's <laughs> like a, uh oh. The, the just got to make sure that it goes on the right side here. I believe it goes on this side. Oh, it'll make sense once you're once this is in, right? Um, it's got an angle on it. Yeah, it's got an angle on it. So oh. <laughs> okay, All right, so let's look at this together here. All right, so uh, there's your H and there's your I over here. Oh, here we go. Where's our front? This is the back, and that's the front. So this is the front. That means we're going to be looking at it like H has to go on the left hand side. That's your H is over there. Yeah, is that H? This is H. Okay. Now, which this this is the unfinished the end the finished side goes down on like this I would imagine right yes no. it would have to go like this like that just like so that's it okay good now you got it there we go now, now we fill those all in with what the uh, they are well you two different screws one uh, let's do the bottom ones here first Matt with number one okay. these guys with number one. Oh, it's number one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You gonna hold the desk for me or you I will. just keep sliding just... that off the table? No, don't worry about that. Now what's All the right. other side? Now the other side you go ahead and come on the inside, I think. And then uh, you're gonna put it on the insides, so you're gonna put number twos. All right. Let's spin that around so people can see what we're doing here. Who's are going in here? Yeah. Don't be afraid to hold that leg. I got to line this up here because it's not even lined up. But you see, you got to make Big sure. Big difference. Nice and snug. Number two's up here too, I would imagine. Yeah, they're the same thing. Do they have like a shinier, like a, a, a nicer finish screw for the ones that you're going to see? Again, let me just help you here. Lined up. Down a little bit, right there. Okay. And, and then they're done. That side, same idea. Same idea, number two. So you can do number twos if you want first, or you can do the number ones, whatever you want to do. No, let's do the same same pattern. If it's not pattern. broke, don't, don't if it's not broke, don't fix it. Now we're building desks today for those who are just thing. joining us. Um because it's a very popular item right now. Everybody wants a desk for their kids because a lot of them are being taught from home. 
This this has been a uh, a real real challenge and change for not only the school districts but for the parents because just you know adjusting to the schedules and work schedules and all this it's been a real challenge. Let's just give this. A and I applaud everybody who's doing their, their best. Doing their best. Now Let's I'm going to put these in here. Okay. While he's doing that, I'm going to read my next instructions because we are on to step number seven of ten. It's starting to look like a desk, Josh. I think so. From a box now of we need a kindling. Come up with our desk. I'm going to put this right in the right wall here. You get to a certain age and your eyes just start to fade. Okay, so that's going to go like that, Matt. Found our next step. When you start making faces when you're looking at stuff, yeah, you need glasses. That's when it's getting bad. Well, why don't you get glasses? I have glasses, but they're not for the clothes, but this is the way the lights are shining in my eyes. Yeah, these are number ones. All right. Let me help you line up. All right, you're good. Then you do, these are thin. You want to be extra careful. Okay. You don't want to over-tighten these things, guys. This is the, that's the key. Just like so. Step number. What's eight in Spanish? Ocho. Ocho. All right, now ocho. D's. Go ahead and get you to. Do, okay, so now let's put this on our side. and eight. The ocho. Remember? No. Nope. From dodgeball. What a weird reference. Yeah, this has worked out better. This has worked out great. Look at this. It's holding itself. Okay, right. so Matt, you're putting on D's now, which are the dividers that are going to put your binders and different things like that. Now, D. That's this here. You're using number ones for these. Okay, okay so, so you put them on. And let's put them like this so that they can see it. Let's flip it over. All right. All the way. One more time. Way in the world. You'll see what I mean. Now it's difficult for you to screw. No, it's not at all. Easier, in fact. So you can go on the other side. You can screw those in. I mean, hold this in place, and I'll screw them in from underneath here. See you know what I mean? Now they can see what we're building. They're blocking. All right. You win. You understand what I mean. Okay, so this is, a, a, this is going to be great. Watch. Let me show you guys what we're going to use for this. See how I have to put the screw in to this space right here? Right? I'm going to spin it a bit more. A bit more? Show them how hard that would be to put that in there with that drill. So like that. you're gonna. What's gonna happen is you can't. You can't get onto it at 90 degree, like a straight on shot, right? So what's gonna happen is if you use this, you're gonna strip out that screw. So you can either use a small little hand screwdriver, or, or you change out the head, and you use. But you've kind of in this position. I can't take this off now. I need to have my drill back. Right. Okay. And now. Oh, you need the drill, you're saying? Yeah. Oh. Can't, you can't take it off, you're saying? No. The, uh, this, the, the drill bit. Oh, I no. see. I don't know what you did here, but I can't. There we go. I locked okay. it? You locked it. That's gotta come All off. that for that? Yeah, well, it was on there. Just use your fingers. See like this. And I want to be able to get in. I want to have it. Like that. I want to have it more like this. This would be more comfortable for me. Now we can put it back to where we had it before. So they can see that we're gonna how we're gonna get. Oh, I guess they gotta be able to see that, eh? Now this just works like a regular drill, only now it's got that 90 degree 90 degree attachment on it. Alright, you ready? No. no. Okay, go ahead. That's good. Good. 
Yep, okay. and, then, and then you use that attachment on both sides. Nice. Do that for do both sides. Thing. They also have another attachment for this uh, in the chameleon, which I'll show you, which we could also use. In the same position. Little offset. It's called an offset. So if you just have to get kind of close, but not you're not quite close enough, this is ideal for it. This is called the offset. Offset. You can see how it, how instead of being straight on, it's just kind of set out, which allows you to get in close to those. Uh, I'm going to be on that side, so I want it here like this. Right? I'm right here? Mm-hmm. Oh, I need my bit. Sorry, bud. This is, a, this is just a quick in, so it's nice you're not, you don't have to really reef on it. Now you can see how the offset also works. Hold on. Can't see it very good. That lined up there. Yeah. Now, a matter of fact, you can use the offset again for this bottom one because it'll be hard to get to, I think, for that as well. All right. <clears throat> Give me the two screws. Whoop. Ooh. Good? Yep. Good. So you see how much easier that was than trying to bend the drill around and everything. Not to mention, you're not stripping the screw out so that when you go to take it apart next time or something, it's uh, yeah, all falling apart. Very handy. That's the Chameleon from Bosch. And uh, it has, and it also, for those who, are, who might need it, also, you have to, there's an attachment you can buy. It's the SDS bit. Right? Do we want to set this up on the floor now? Um, yes, I do. Okay. That's, that's, I'll move this bench for us. Slide this on out. Okay. All right, moving on to step number 10. It's your top piece here, Matt. This is a big one? No, yeah, one of those ones. It's the, uh, it's the A. Is that A? This is C. This is the shelf. A, this is that's a. the shelf. Yeah. You notice this one got finished on all sides. Is it? Yeah. Goes like this, right? Yep. Just like that. And then the they get number ones. Yeah. Okay. I would advise not tightening the two until we can line all of them up. That's my advice. But it's take it as it is. And then these. We're almost done, guys. We got to, we're down to the step number nine. We're building desks for uh, kids, um, showing you how easy it is. You can do this at home. You need very limited amount of tools. Uh, and in the other desk we're going to feature in just a minute, you don't need any tools. Um, both from the same company, uh, which is Furniture. 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 No. Perino. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, so now, Matt, you have the uh, uh, number. Uh, the last one here is F. No, there's two. I got F, and then I got C that goes in. Yeah, here. that that goes in there. But that uh, actually, that might. Yeah, that's in this uh, this step as well. So let's do the C first. So we can get, put it back on here, I guess, for this part, because. Um, You'll see what I mean. We're going to need the kind of the flat surface to work from. This will go back up. C goes in here somehow, right? Yeah, C goes in the bottom shelf. Goes right down here? Yep. Finished edge, out, and then that screws in just like so. Okay. And you're using uh, number ones. ones. I kind of figured, as soon as that's all that's left. Nice. I really like the the, uh, the cover, uh, the, the, the design on even, the top. Even at this stage, it's important to make sure that um, you're lining up your holes. 
because it, it, it helps square everything up. Yeah. Don't just, don't just push it through. And now, finally, mat number 10. You get to show us your hammer skills. Okay. Hammer now we can flip this right over. And I'll hold it so that you can put this flat. Do you know what I mean? Right. Okay. Because we don't want it to raw. So if I do this... Oh, I see what you mean. You're going to do it like that. And I'll hold it and you hammer the... You not everybody has that. a guy to help him hold it. You sure you want to do that? What'd you say? Not everybody has a hammer or, or has a helper or someone to help them hold it like so that. So how do you want to do it then? Put it right up on the table. Just so they can see how that's, how it's going to... Maybe they don't have a desk. Yeah, I don't know. It's still going to be able to... It's still going to work. Yeah, this is how this goes here? Looking for a hammer here. Inside that drawer right there, you'll find one. Nope, down. In the cabinet, that's it. Perfect. Now you can do this. How many do you need? Oh, you want me to do it? Oh, yeah, we got the, so you got the, uh, are these? Generally, they're pre punctured, but. Refocus. How's that? Can you see us? Did maybe your, my greasy head hit the side of it. See. All right. We're back in. Back in now. Uh, let me just make sure this is flush on this side here, man. Yeah. Does it say how many or doesn't? Yeah, you just fill it up, I think. I don't know why it said... Uh, a mallet? You're not doing this with a mallet. Oh, I, it, yeah, no, with a rubber mallet. Maybe it's a plastic mallet, they said. Oh, I'm blocking the whole screen here. Now, you want to put these in, uh, uh, you know, use them all up, because what happens is when you're shoving things back there, especially a kid, they shove things in there hard, right? And so if you, if you don't have enough nails in there, it's going to buckle and bend and, yeah. You want to put them in like that, like a mat's doing every six inches or so. Add a little support underneath your hand here to keep it up. Be careful to go in straight. Otherwise, if you're going on a bit of an angle with that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bust out the, uh, the finish. You don't want that. Right, Josh? That's it. Now, how many more screws and nails do you have? Quite a few here. <clears throat> Keep going around. Four more. Uh, these are nice because they're they're uh, nice and sharp, sharp ends. Mm -hmm. So the so that's it. Now I mean, this is step number ten. This is the last step, and now you have a full function desk that we're going to show you in just a second. I guess you could put two over here. Yeah, you don't, I don't know if we need it, but we have the nails. What do we got left? Two more? Two more. So Three more. Maybe two here. Two here? One here, one here? Yeah. Just holds that corner. A little stronger. That's it. And voila, you have a yes. real nice desk. Right. I want to show you, uh, again, you have a, your, your little uh, desk chair. This slides in. There you go. You, you have uh, a desk, uh, you have something below for your... Lift uh, that up, I don't know if they can see it, but lift, lift it a little higher. So here you can see you've got a nice shelf at the bottom. Put some stuff on, the books or whatever. You have spots to hang things off of. A lot of people get baskets and stuff to hang on the sides of these. Yep. A uh, spot in the, up in the ear for your pencil case and crayons and stuff like that for them to work with. And what I like about this is this is because it's everything's virtual, you need a place for your computer or your laptop, whatever you're using. You place that right up here. Yeah. It's at eye level. Or it's a whole on, uh, it's a full on screen. You got a, you got a computer with a, a monitor or whatever. Put your sure. monitor up here and then your keyboard down on here. So really nice little, uh, really nice little desk. This desk 
He's not expensive either. This desk is actually forty-eight dollars. So under fifty bucks. Under fifty dollars. Under fifty dollars. Sounds like I said one hundred and fifty dollars. Under under fifty dollars, and you have a desk that you can put together in no time at all for your kids yeah. uh, to be able to uh, work from. Now, now let's show them the other desk that we have. Now we said that one was simple to put together, but from the same company, they built one that even fits that goes even faster than that. Now it's this came in two parts. No tools needed. This just goes here like this. I'm going to show them how to do it by one person. You set it up uh, at home. And it clips into place. And there's your desk. Now let's show them again, but this time face the camera so they can see you doing it. No, they saw. They didn't, but true. One more time. I'll take it off. Hold this. Here's the, here's the desk. Here's how it folds up just like that. Right, pulls up thin and flat. Pulls behind the behind the couch or whatever. Now it's ready for the kids to go to work or go to school. And you line it up and you push it down. Johnny, get to work. Get your schoolwork done. So there you go. You have two desks, two options, and uh, and, and and really good choices. Uh, they look good. They're, they're stylish looking. They're not going to be an eyesore in your home. No, they're nice. They're nice. And your, boy, your kids will love them. And this one here is, uh, this one here is $100. Uh, $105. This, this one here is $48. Now, now, a couple of other things you're going to need for essentials in a classroom, or what Matt's been uh, reading all day here. Yeah. Is a whiteboard. Whiteboard. So you can have a whiteboard you can put up on the wall. This is, uh, what is it, $38? Oh, 30, right there. $37. $37 for a whiteboard. And then you get, uh, which is in the, it's in the, uh, the carousel. Whiteboard is basically the modern chalkboard, right? Yeah. I, I don't even know if they use chalkboards anymore in school. Well, really? you can also make your own chalkboard, the chalkboard paint. You could. So here you go, Josh. Draw a little something there. People can see what it is. And oh. you can get low odor ones, like we've got in the carousel for you, so the kids don't smell that strong chemical smell. What's this? What are you doing? Tell me what I'm drawing here, right? The grill of a car. Your shoulder's covering most of it. A flag. A racing. You should know. A desk you just made. We just built it. That's right. Your oh, desk. oh, that was hard to. That was a hard one. To There's your desk. But here, what you could do, which is great, a more practical uh, for your kids. Of course, is now you're going to have okay, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Never let Matt teach your kids how to uh, 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 draw, uh, write. Right? You're doing, uh, you got four, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four courses throughout the day. This is why this kind of thing is important for the kids to have. Now along here, they know what they've got to, what they got to do. Yeah. English, math. That's your homeroom. Spanish Matt wants to be the homeroom teacher. That's it. That's the kind of idea you have for a whiteboard. It's just very handy to have, and they stay organized. But 30, doing 30, their job. So 38 bucks. And they can check it off or erase it as they go. 38 bucks for this board. Uh, and it's a couple, of, like under $10 for the, mi the markers. So and you get yourself, a, it comes with a kit and an eraser. So $100. Like for $100, you've got a desk uh, with shelving and everything else. You've got a dry erase board and markers and eraser. And you're, and you're ready you're to go. For under 100 bucks. Places. Ready to teach. Or if you have a little bit of extra room, or, that, or you need to get something specific for the size of space you have, uh, this is a, a wonderful option because it really collapses quickly. It's a, it's a little bit more expensive at $105, but really well worth it if, that's the, if you need to utilize the space. You don't have room in your home. You have. This is the kind of desk to get. Options, options, awesome, options uh, is what you're looking for, and that's what we gave you today. All right, so thanks for joining us here today on Amazon Live and wherever else you were joining us from. Great products you can get right here on Amazon. Uh, we have um, the different items in the carousel, so you can grab those, throw them up there for you to get later on or purchase them right now. Uh, either way, thanks for joining us here What Tools Inside. And if you haven't been playing the game, make sure you download the app and play the game. Follow us on social media because you're, you're entered to win all sorts of tools yeah. uh, throughout the weeks and months uh, in, as, as we've been going. In fact, there's even time for you to win one of these today. Make sure yeah. you go and check Kinefx, out the uh, uh, Offset pliers.
Yep. Or what is that? Yeah, they're the uh, yeah, 70 degree pliers. 70 degree pliers. Thanks for joining us, guys. We will see you again soon here on uh, Amazon Live with Matt and Josh. What tools inside? All right, now let's unfold this. Put this aside.